As you can see, I'm making a, a very simple website here. Um, it's going to be just a, a header, a couple of boxes, and a footer. So the box around the outside, we're going to call that container. We've got a header up at the top. So that's going to be the first box inside the container. On the left, we've got box one that might have an image in it. Next to box one, we're going to have box number two. And then underneath, doing the job of a footer, that's going to be box number three. So let's begin making our web page. You can see I've got brackets open on the left and the live Chrome preview window open on the right. I've already saved a file called index.html. So please guys, make sure you save the .html at the end of your file name. Otherwise brackets doesn't know what you're trying to do. We are gonna make some boxes for our web page, but let's make our web page to start with. So let's start with our HTML tag enter a few times let's put in our head section like so press enter a few times let's put a title in today shall we title box css web page we're going to also add something else here in a second but we'll do that later let's put in our body tag press enter a few times now what we're going to do is we're going to start to build our boxes inside the body of course you remember guys the only place that you can make a web page a web page is inside the body not inside the head nowhere else apart from the body um, we're going to need a couple of boxes but the first box we need is our container so let's start with that we're going to do the letters div for div id and then we're going to say the id of this box is container and let's close that tag. Now all our other boxes are going to sit inside the container box. So what I've done is opened up the div tag from container and ended it over here. All of our other div tags are now going to live inside the container div tag. Let's open up another div tag with an ID of header. And I'm going to use a h1 tag to write the title so this is the header now guys please use your h1s your h2s your p's and every other tag that you can otherwise you're just making a big mess our second box inside our container is going to be a id of box one and i'm gonna use a h2 tag here and say this would be an image because later on I might put an image in there but for now I'm happy with it just saying that let's put in our third box div tag ID of box 2 this one is going to be normal text so I'm going to put in a P tag and this is normal text and the last one div id of box 3 is actually our footer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a h3 tag and say this is the footer and you can see my my web page is looking kind of cool but my god is it boring or what so let's do something about that we've got all the structure there so we've got our container which is sitting on the outside. That's our blue box in the preview window. And then we've got all our other little boxes sitting inside the container, but they don't really look like anything. So what we're going to need to do is go up here to the head and add a new link to a new file. And I'll explain this as we go. I'm going to type in the word link. It's a, a relative link. So what I'm going to do is say that this is a style sheet. So I'm linking a style sheet to this HTML file. Its type is text.css, that's kind of obvious. And its location is gonna be in the same place where my index file is, and I'm gonna call this box style.css. And then I'm going to close this tag, because it's a self-closing tag, it closes itself. And I'm gonna save this, and nothing happens on our web page. Well, that's because we haven't actually made this box style.css file. So let's do that now. Let's open up a new brackets file. And I'm going to immediately save it 
and it's going to go in the same place as my index file and I'm going to call it box style.css. You must call it the same thing as it's stated in the index file, otherwise it will never find it. Uh, at this moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my window and I'm going to put the index at the bottom. Let me just resize that window. So my, my index will just sit there and at the top I'm going to start building the CSS file or if you like I'm going to start adding style to our page. Let's start off with the first one which was container which is just that one there. Hashtag container open curly brackets close curly brackets. These are all things that you have to do. The hashtag says this is a style for something called container. The open curly brackets and close curly brackets means everything inside is now the style for container. So let's do the following. Let's make the width of the container 900 pixels, px that is. The semicolon you have to put, otherwise you're going to mess up your page. Let's go for margin left equals auto and margin right equals auto. Now let me explain that. Let's just save that. You can see as soon as I save that, my web page kind of changed a bit. So if we have a look, I'm going to click outside and click in again. You can see we've kind of created this box. We've then said make the box 900 pixels wide. That's cool. Then we said margin left and margin right auto. And what that's saying is try to keep the same distance on the left and the right, which means that if we resize our page, the box kind of stays still, which is kind of cool as well. So this box is now in the middle. Uh, we've only made a box called a container, so there's no real style going on for any of our other boxes like box one, box two, or anything like that. So let's start with that one. Let's go hashtag header, open curlies, closed curlies. Let's make the width of this one again 900 pixels. Now let's make the height 150 pixels. I'm just making this up as I go along by the way. And background color. Let's make that, well let's make it red for now. That's kind of ugly. So what I'm going to do in brackets is right click on red click on quick edit and let's make that actually in fact let's make that kind of like a, a pinkish purple there you go now let's continue with our other ones box one open curlies close curlies let's make this width one third of the full width of the header so that's going to be 300 pixels let's make the height what should we make that 300 pixels why not let's be brave Let's make the float. Now this is going to be kind of weird. Float is a in CSS is basically saying when I make a box, shove it to the left, put it on the left hand side, because that's exactly where I want it to go. So when I make box two, which is quite simple, hashtag box two, open curly, close curly, I'm going to make the width of this one. 600 because guess what 600 plus 300 equals 900 which is the full width of our page the height of this is going to be the same as the box one height which is 300 pixels and again i'm going to say float to the left now you might not see it right now but let's go and add some color in here so if i say background color and let's make this one blue Let's change that for goodness sakes to a much easier to look at blue. Let's go there. Oh, that's better. Yep, there. So let's make that blue and let's make the background color of box two a green color. Right click, edit, and let's make that a little bit easier to look at. Now, guys, you can you can see how we've really made a web page out of nothing. So. I have not touched the HTML yet. It's still sitting there doing exactly what it was doing five minutes ago. In fact, all I'm doing is making a style sheet, this box style sheet, which is basically saying all of the boxes, all of these div tags that I've asked the HTML file to put on the page, 
Now go into this file and check the style of each one. Let's go and finish our box three. So that's going to be box three, open curly, close curly. Let's make the width of this 900 pixels. Uh, let's make the height of this 150 pixels, a little bit like the header. And instead of saying float left or float right or whatever, what I'm going to now say is clear both. And what that means is the footer is always going to go at the bottom. It will never try to take the place of box one or box two. Let's give this a background color just so that it's easier to see. And let's make this, oh, let's make this gray. Why not? American spelling of gray is better. And there we go. That's the footer. So while we're here in the style sheet, why don't we start adding some styles to some other things? So I want the font of the header of H2, of H3, and P all to be the same. So let's just put in a H1, comma, H2, comma, H3, comma, P. Now you see how I've done that? I've basically said take the H123 and the P tag and give them all the same style. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to say font family equals, and let's go for just right now a sans serif. And you can see immediately in my Chrome window, everything just changed. Well, that's because I said change everything all at once. Now at this moment, we can kind of mess around. Oh, you see, I've forgotten the semicolon. At this moment, guys, we can just leave it at that. Or we could kind of say color equals white, and all of them would change. I don't think that's a good idea right now, but that's just to show you how powerful this is. Right now, this is a really easy way to make a web page. And as you can see, guys, the HTML did not change. So if somebody comes to you and says, I don't like the font of the web page, or I don't like the style, or I don't like the colors, or I think this should be wider, you can always go in and change the settings in your CSS file without ever touching your HTML file. So I hope you've learned how to make a web page using div tags and a CSS file with the div tag styles built into them. So go ahead and make yours now.